The year 2020 has been a particularly challenging one for the armed forces. Multiple threats posed by Boko Haram, Iswap and bandits meant there was more than one theater of war. The good news coming from the military high command is that the Nigerian armed forces has gained considerable grounds against these enemies. Several criminal elements, including high profile members, were killed in action while others arrested, sometimes together with their families as well as informants and gun runners. Besides, there are records of scores of them surrendering to troops due to overwhelming superior firepower. As the armed forces gained the upper hands against these criminal elements, it has carefully engaged the carrot approach as part of its civil military relations. The armed forces of Nigeria carried out non-kinetic operations in form of civil military cooperation activities. In this regard, a total of 81 boroughs were sunk for host communities across the country. 14 schools were renovated. 14 clinics and dispensaries were constructed and donated to host communities, as well as the renovation of two worship centers. Now that the armed forces is in the ascendancy, how will it finish off the war once and for all? Major General John Eneche is being tight-lipped about this. After all, the greatest weapon the armed forces have is the element of surprise. The Commander-in-Chief directed that we should go and redouble our efforts. If I now start telling you the redouble efforts here, I will be telling Boko Haram what we are doing. So I beg for your, to seek for your indulgence to excuse me that, not to tell you the specifics of what we are doing. The frequency and intensity of the offensive against terrorists and bandits has given birth to a sense of optimism that the armed forces will soon overcome these challenges. But caution must still be exercised. After all, we have been here before. Aon Duna, India. Silverbird, News 24.